Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to set up and program a two sensor ATO function for your Profilux 4 controller. We'll do this using the GHL Connect app. For this setup, you will need a pump for ATO purposes, any combination of two GHL sensors, either a float or optical, and an available socket on your power bar. To get started, Connect the GHL float or optical sensors to an available level port on your P4. Be sure to take note what color port on the P4 you are connecting the sensors to. If you connect one or both sensors to the purple port, it is connected to level inputs 1 and 2. If one or both are connected to the green port, it is connected to level inputs 3 and 4. If you are connecting these sensors to an expansion card, the level port numbering will continue beyond level 3 and 4. For example, if you have a PLM 4 level expansion card, the level numbering would be 5 and 6 for one port and 7 and 8 for the second port. Since there are two sensors involved in this setup, you can either connect each sensor to its own port directly on the P4, or you can use a splitter cable and connect both sensors to a single port on the P4 or expansion card. If you'll be using a splitter cable, keep in mind that the level sensor numbering is automatically assigned to the first and second number of the level port. For example, when two sensors are connected to level 1 and 2, one end of the splitter cable will be level sensor number 1, and the other end will be level sensor number 2. Once you've connected the sensors to a P4 level port, open up the GHL Connect app and connect to your Profilux. From the dashboard, press the menu icon at the top left, select control, then select level. Select an unused control circuit. In the general settings section, press operation mode and select one of the two dual sensor ATO options. The option you select will depend on how you'd like to use the ATO function. Select min-max control if you want to use each sensor as a minimum and maximum point for your water level control. With this option, sensor number 1 is the maximum point and sensor number 2 is the minimum point. The moment sensor number 2 detects a low water level, the assigned power bar socket will turn on. When the normal water level is reached, the socket will turn off. Select ATO with two sensors if you want to use two sensors to register the same water level. With this option, these sensors are placed side by side. The assigned power bar socket will turn on only when both sensors detect a low water level. Next, type in a description for this task. Once that's done, set the desired maximum on time. This max on time feature is a fail safe for this function. If for any reason your assigned ATO sensor does not respond within the allowed time, the fail safe will automatically shut down the assigned pump to prevent an overflow or flood. For example, by setting this feature to 5 minutes, you allow the assigned ATO pump to run for up to 5 minutes. If this time limit expires, the Profilux will trigger the fail safe and activate an alarm. When an alarm is activated, the Profilux LED indicator light will begin flashing red. For this feature, we recommend you set a time that will give the assigned pump enough time to dispense the needed amount of ATO water. Once your maximum on time is set, select if you'd like to have the alarm automatically reset after the failsafe has been triggered. With this option selected, the alarm will automatically be reset once the assigned ATO sensor detects normal water level. If you'd like for the ATO to be always on, leave this option selected. If you'd rather run the ATO on certain days or times, disable this option and select the timer number that will be responsible for determining the on-off times of this function. The next step will be to select the sensor numbers that will be used for this task. For example, if you have both sensors connected to the level 1 and 2 port, select 1 and 2. Same rules apply if the sensors are connected to level port 3 and 4, level port 5 and 6, so on and so forth. Once that's done, press save, then press the back arrow icon at the top left of your screen. 
If you wish to set a specific reaction time for your ATO sensors, you can do so by selecting the Sensors tab. Here you'll be able to set a delayed reaction time for your sensors. By default, all sensors are set to react after one second. Now that the ATO function is set up, it's time to assign this task to the power bar socket that will be responsible for controlling the ATO pump. Press the menu icon, press the back arrow, and select switch channels. Select the socket that has the ATO pump connected to it. Type in a description for this socket. Set the function to fill water ATO only. The number here corresponds to the control circuit number you used when you created the ATO function. For example, since we made the function on control circuit number 1, we would select 1. If we had used control circuit number 2, we would have selected 2. Once that's done, press save. Your ATO is now officially controlled by your Profilux controller. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about this video or any GHL product, feel free to contact us on any one of our support channels. Until next time folks, take care.